Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Today we've got an extreme cold start. So I didn't know if it was going to get colder than minus 30. I've been looking and when I filmed it, it looked like that was as good as it was going to get. However, this morning when I woke up, uh, we see a nice minus 43. So that's uh, never been that cold that I've experienced here in this part of the country. Of course, where I lived, minus 43 was normal. So we're going to do another cold start. Actually, I was going to go in and run the block heater cord and get a battery maintainer on the vehicle so I can uh, not do a really cold soaked review. So for those that want to know how really cold it is, there it is, minus 43. So that's in the, the town that I live in now. So we're going to see how this thing acts when it's uh, at an extreme level of cold. Again, it hasn't been plugged in. There's no battery warmer. It's been sitting for well over a day because I haven't been out in a while. So she's as uh, cold as she'll get. But this will be the last time I do one of these reviews because from now on, when it dips below minus 20, I will be going in, plugging it in, making sure everything is good. But for now, let's go to what you guys want to see and set up the camera a bit. I'll do an open hood shot. I have noticed that the hood, the hinges and everything are feeling like massively stiff. So I guess it's the uh, grease that they use on the hinge style. Uh, pretty pretty uh, robust so let's get this a little bit more inside a little bit of a she's not gonna sound happy I'll tell you right now so we'll uh, give it a minute to uh, get me ready and yeah we'll catch you when she fires up hopefully if it doesn't then I'll be uh, plugging it in and uh, waiting a little bit of time uh, maybe about two hours before I do uh, decide to start it so I think she'll go and we're gonna find out Everybody, I gotta say, did not like that at all. What I noticed, especially getting in, the seats are hard like a rock. The hinges are very, very stiff. And the clutch was like uh, trying to press on uh, blocks. So as you can see, now it's starting to get a little bit better. But when I first opened that door, I'll show you the rear door, how cold can affect a vehicle in extreme temperatures. There we go. That had a lot of uh, thing, but anyway, hopefully, whew, hopefully I'm gonna let it warm up a lot. I'm just gonna let her uh, sit here and idle for about uh, 15, 20 minutes. Uh, not due to the engine or anything like that. It started, but it's all the other components that um, I don't, uh, I don't want to get affected by this, uh, especially like the transmission and. You know, I don't want to load that up. I'm going to let it warm up uh, just generally and let it, uh, let it nurse it. So the plans that I'm going to have for this guy is get the block heater cord, which is right by the battery in this location there. I'm going to run a nice cord and I'm going to put a battery maintainer on it uh, because I do not want to try this again. Minus 43 is really brutal on vehicles. Minus 35 is brutal on vehicles, so the colder it gets, the less battery power you have and the more cold the 
oil and everything kind of uh, gels so it's really really hard on the vehicle so but anyway I'm impressed Chevrolet Spark 2018 uh, minus 43 uh, temperature in northern Alberta and she fired up not a problem so get uh, this car gets high marks for uh, cold weather starting so there you guys go if you're looking for a review on something that will get you through the winter so far this car has not uh, failed to uh, fail to deliver on that promise so guys we'll catch you later and hope you enjoyed the video